One of the key issues that jurors had to weigh in was the definition of insider trading. But is it time to stop questioning it all together and simply legalizing it? Before you think we're crazy, this is going to be five minutes Too of late. contrarianness in the overwhelming sea of groupthink that exists in the world on this. <laughs> Here now are Tom Gorman, partner of Dorsey & Whitney, James Altiger, managing director at Formula Capital, and Herb Hello. Greenberg. James, I'm going to start with you. Uh, Milton sure. Friedman many years ago convinced me that insider trading laws were silly, that they were akin to price controls, and that prices would be far more accurate if people could trade on what they knew. You're one of the few people out there who don't think I'm nuts. <laughs> Way in here. Well, basically, you want a market with as much information as possible. I mean, even as the U.S. attorney said, insider trading and insider information is pervasive. You're never going to get rid of it. That's why everybody every day looks for options that have unusual volume, because we know that insiders are at work sharing information and trading on it. What we want is, an, is a market where retail investors have as much information as, as mm. possible. If you legalize it, corporations will be much more transparent and much more quick about giving off information such as where negotiating talks or where, in, where our earnings are. Okay. Maybe uh, not Herb, 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 Herb is laughing. James, you know Go I, ahead, laugh. J, J, James, you know I love you and you know I love your blog and all that other stuff, but on this one, you're absolutely not correct, or at least I don't believe you are because I think in this case, look, if you, if, you think companies, if you think companies are going to come out and just because now the information is going to be out there by somebody else, they're going to put it out, that's in a you're living in a dream world. And I think in the end, you always have to have rules and regulations, especially if you want the general public, the general investor base, to uh, not think uh, somebody else has necessarily has a greater edge. We know everybody does. Your comments are understood. But the fact is, you got to have laws. You I mean, gotta have Tom, lines. wouldn't you just drive the retail investor out forever? If insider no. trading was legal, there would be a whole group of people that just either don't have the time, they don't have the connections, they don't know who to call. I mean, you would just drive the, the average retail investor out. They'd be at a permanent disadvantage. Well, that's exactly right. And what this conversation is losing track of is, you got to remember what insider trading is. It's cheating. It's stealing. It's greed. That's all it is. What you're doing is taking something that belongs to the company, that's inside the company, and you're using it for your personal benefit. Yeah, that but, but the premise of the insider prices. trading laws uh, is I'm that the so traders, sure. hold on, the, inside, the premise of insider trading laws is somebody who acts on that information is stealing from other potential investors. It's not based on stealing from the company. I agree with you. It is stealing from the company. Yeah. And if that was the idea behind it, companies could have uh, proprietary rules, etc. I mean, just like we have a CBC, you can't they do, do certain have things. Right, exactly. Rules. And then you go after those employees. Who That's did called illegally. misappropriating information. And I think it's also common sense. I think you know, as somebody who's been involved in this on all different levels, I can tell you, you know what you can do and you know what you can't do. And when you cross that line, you know you're crossing it. And in this case, they knew they were crossing that line. That's why they had uh, so many, uh, so many secrets. Tom, the premise is the SEC has to exist in order to give people confidence in the markets, but from the actions that I've seen from the SEC in all the time of their existence, the only thing they've convinced the public of is that they shouldn't have any confidence in the SEC. But this verdict should be a step in the right direction to restoring the confidence of the investor because if investors get the idea that these markets are rigged, that they're dominated by people who have an inside pipeline so they can steal this corporate information and use it for their own benefit, right. they're not going to trade. James, they're just not going to trade. You can't have somebody who's on the board of a company and has access to a company's earnings ahead of that earnings release go and make calls to their favorite fund manager and tell them what the earnings are going to say. I mean, that can't, that can't be something that's legal. Unless they disclose it, why don't you why don't you make laws which are still tight so you, and still prevent it, but uh, allow for certain disclosure? Uh, look, the SEC like, wait, is wait, limited that doesn't in make what sense. they can do. I, I don't understand what would they do. I mean, they're about to do an earnings release. They would, you know, the day before these people have this information, they give it out. They would disclose that they're giving that information out 24 hours earlier. I mean, how would you get that situation? Look, I think the company should be a lot more transparent along the way that, look, our earnings were not what they thought they were going to be, or here's, here's where we are right now in earnings. There should be some process by which information can be released in a different way than it's released right now. Look, the SEC is tying up so much resources, I'd rather them chase after the next Bernie Madoff, who is out there, by the way. There's, there's got to be other Ponzi schemes, other Enrons, other WorldComs. Let's get the SEC fighting in cases where there's actual victims, where, where, where retirement funds are being lost rather to, than to the these spirit of uh, where... Melissa's question 
if you think about it, if that did indeed happen, prices, in fact, would move far more quickly to the exactly. accurate level, correct? I mean, that's exactly. part of what Milton Friedman's point was. You'd like people to exactly be doing that. Exactly. Right now, prices move from 30 to 40 in a second as soon as earnings come out or as soon as a, a merger is announced. W what we would see if insider information was, was actually legal is that these prices would move much more uh, smoothly to ac accurately reflect what a company's value is. Again, better for the SEC to pursue cases where there are real victims, where people are losing billions or hundreds of millions James, of dollars, James, where retirement that's, funds that's are That's not why somebody's on the board of directors of a company to go in and get information ahead of when an earnings is released. They're supposed to be there as a director. Director as, as helping the company, as a benefit to the company. I mean, he's being paid to be there as a board director, not to glean information and then profit on it elsewhere. That goes against the whole reason why he was hired to be on the board. Tom, you're nodding that, your head up and down. Yeah, and, that, and that's exactly right. That's why directors are there. They're there to manage the company for the benefit of the shareholders. And they do disclose this information. And nobody's going to be against more transparency. I'm all in favor of that. But think about it. Your earnings release example is exactly right. At some point in time, there's always a point where the information hasn't been released. And when you take that before it's released and you use it for your own benefit, that's not helping the company. But what it's if there, not what helping it, the it's up to corporations, anything. Tom, to say, if you're going to be on this board, you cannot violate any confidentiality and if we find out it's going to be a violation of contract we're going to sue you it's i mean there could be prosecution but it would be done civilly within corporations and in right, fact be, in fact they do do that as well it, it didn't are, work for berkshire hathaway yeah that's right there are codes of ethics for all of these companies companies almost every public company can't do that but the fact of the matter is inside trading is so profitable that people who are greedy and there's enough right. of them out there will take the shot it, and they'll take the shot that they can get away with it, it and you won't. It would become enough. so widespread well, it actually wouldn't be that profitable in, in, anymore. In the end, that's true. And in the end, human nature always does. You just accidentally agreed with, with Michelle's me, guys. <laughs> so much fun. Thank you so much, Jim. Yeah, I like that whole setup with James. I with the, yeah, <clears throat> really technologically that was advanced. Fun. <laughs> All right, let us know what you think. Should insider trading, like Snoopy, be legalized? <laughs> Email us, streetsigns at cnbc.com.